Hi, I'm Munich Sears, and this is Architect Business Secrets. This is the business of architecture. So today we're going to talk about what to do when a client tells you you're too expensive. Recently, I was talking with a member of our million dollar mastermind coaching group, and she said that she'd sent a proposal to a client, and the client was wondering why she was charging $50,000 to do a a set of plans. Now this particular architect, uh, architecture firm, they are a design build firm and they do very high-end residential work on the East Coast of, of the United States. And so, and, and she said that she's dealt with this a lot. She says that the way they've structured their fees, generally they'll do a, they'll do a 5% fee up to the uh, design development, schematic design phase. And then when they move into construction documents, they will roll the extra 5% of design fees right into the right into the construction document or right into the, right into the contract, um, the build phase of the project, right? So right into the, the construction costs, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So, and she said that the this client was looking at the proposal thinking, you know, how come you guys are charging $50,000 when I know builders that say they can do this for $20,000 or less, right? And here's the answer. So clients do not understand, they have no idea about the different levels of service that we can give them as architects and as designers. And it's your job to educate them and to help them understand what the difference is between a set of $20,000 plans and a set of $50,000 plans, okay? We know that when you're spending $50,000 on plans or when you're spending, you know, 200% uh, more than the next guy, the reason why you're charging that is because you're delivering a better product that's better specified, it has more information in the drawings. And ultimately, that's a save on the side of the client because they get a better quality product, they get to invest, and they basically they safeguard their investment that they're spending on the construction side. Clients don't get that. So it's your job as a designer and as the leader of this process, you need to take control and you need to do some education. So what I said to, uh, to this person, I, I told her, first of all, you know, some of these things, by the time it gets to this point, uh, it might be hard to, to make a case for why you're more. I mean, I'll give you a strategy for that, but really you need to have some sort of pre-education that happens before someone ever meets with you in person and before they ever see your proposal. So you need to have some sort of document that talks about the value of spending more time on design, right? What is the value of specifying all the fixtures, all the finishes, all the equipment instead of providing an allowance? Now, clients don't get that. When they look at your fee, they see that as an expense. They are not seeing that as an investment that's gonna pay them back over time. So here's how you fix that. First of all, you need to position and you need to state that the, the actual architectural fees are number one in investment and you need to show why they're an investment. You need to give two different scenarios. You can say, look, we can leave a lot of information off the drawings and sure the drawings will be cheaper, but here's why it's gonna cost you more over time and here's why we don't work like that. So if you wanna work, if you're looking for cheap plans, we're not the firm for you. If you're looking for a quality project, then you know, let's meet and let's see if we're a fit. With every reason, so, and when you do your proposal, here's a little trick to think about to make sure that you're showcasing the value that you provide so the client's not focused on the cost of your fees. Okay, whenever you state something in terms of cost, you always need to state it in terms of an investment, and then you need to show why that investment will pay back 10 times, 100 times what they're spending up front. Okay, so for instance, say that your firm uh, goes through the extra work to specifying some extra fixtures, finishes the FF and E, and put, basically puts more information in the drawings. Okay, so how does that help the client? Well, the way that helps the client is that when it comes time to build, there's going to be less questions in the field. You won't have a subcontractor swapping out a less expensive fixture. You know, you're going to get your high quality faucets and your million dollar home that you want. And so make sure that every single item, let's call it a feature. So when you're, uh, when you're developing your proposal, you're making a list of features that you provide or services. Every service or feature should have a, a so that, what I call a so that statement. What that means is that the so that describes the benefit, okay? So let's give an example. You know, our architecture firm, we specify all of your plumbing fixtures, all of your tile, 
all of your, your countertop materials, your cabinets, so that the subcontractors don't come in and specify less expensive materials, thereby reducing the quality of your home in the long term. Okay, so do you see how by just adding that little so that phrase, we turn something which is a feature which clients don't really understand into something focused on the benefit and the return on investment. Okay, so there's two things you can do to deal with clients who don't understand the value of the services you provide. Number one, provide some pre-education. Make sure that before you ever meet, they read your documentation about why you do things differently, about the fact that you're not a cheap firm, the reason why you charge so much, and you just let them know, hey, there's gonna be some sticker shock, but I wanna put that in perspective. Here's how much the design fees cost in relation to the overall cost of the project, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is when you're going through your proposal, make sure once again, everything is termed in, uh, is positioned in terms of an investment, and that the benefits that all of your services provide are very clearly outlined and everything shows you need to make a case for the fact that any money spent up front in design is going to be is going to be returned by 10 to 100 percent on the backside. so if you like this little video then go to freemarketinggift.com if you if you want more strategies for uh, attracting better clients better projects and living out your your potential as an architect I want to send you a free marketing gift, architect marketing gift, worth over, uh, worth about $200. So go to, that's freemarketinggift.com. Until we meet again, go conquer the world.